So in this problem, we have been given two equations and then we have to find value of a and b. The first equation is a square minus b is equals to 73. And the second equation is b square minus a is also equals to 73. And it is also given that a is not equal to b. This means a and b are different values. So how will you find value of a and b using these two equations? Now what we will do is we will somehow calculate what is the value of a plus b and then we will also calculate value of a minus b and then we will use these two equations to solve for a and b. So let us see, first I know that this expression and this expression both are equal to 73. This means I can write a square minus b is equals to 73 which is also equals to b square minus a. So if I take everything left hand side we will have a square minus b minus b square plus a is equals to 0. This means I can write a square minus b square plus a minus b is equals to 0. Now I will use the formula that is a square minus b square is equals to a plus b into a minus b. So we will use this identity. So this is a plus b into a minus b and then here I have a minus b. This is equals to 0. Now I can take a minus b common. So if I take a minus b common, what I will have? Here I will have a plus b and here I will have 1. So this is equals to 0. This means either a minus b is equals to 0 or this term is equals to 0. So if I consider the first that is a minus b is equals to 0, this means a is equals to b but in the question it is given that a is not equal to b this means this is not possible so this is not possible so this is not a possible solution not possible now this means the other thing has to be possible that is a plus b plus 1 is equals to 0 this means a plus b is equals to minus 1. So this is what we wanted and we have basically found one thing that is a plus b is equals to minus 1. Now we have to find a minus b, the second thing. So how we will find a minus b? So to find a minus b, first I need to find a square plus b square. And I also need to find a, b. So what I will do is, I will use these two equations and then add these two equations. So if you add these two, what will happen? That is if you add these two equations, first equation is a square minus b is 73. And the second equation is b square plus a is also equals to 73. So if you add these two equations, we will have a square plus b square plus a minus b is equals to 146. So we can write here. So that is a square plus b square plus a minus b is equals to 146. Basically there is not minus, so this is b square, this is not plus, b square minus. So if you see the problem, this is b square minus a. So here I have a negative sign, so b square minus a. So I have to put a negative sign here. And then you will have minus sign here. And here I will also have, this will be minus, if I take minus common, then this will be a plus b. But a plus b, we already know, this is equals to minus 1. So I will have a square plus b square 
minus of minus 1 becomes plus 1 is equals to 146. This means a square plus b square is equals to 145. So now I know value of a square plus b square. So now I can calculate value of a minus b but before that I have to calculate value of a times b. So to calculate the value of a times b that is a b what we will do is we will consider this expression and we will square both sides. So let us take this expression that is a plus b is equals to minus 1 and if you square both sides we will have a square plus b square plus 2ab is equals to 1. Now a square plus b square is nothing but 145. We just got this value that is 145. So we will have 145 plus 2ab is equals to 1. This means 2ab is equals to minus 144. This means AB is equals to basically minus 72. So now I got A square plus B square. I also got AB. Then I can calculate A minus B. So if you remember A minus B whole square is nothing but A square plus B square minus 2AB. So A minus B whole square is equals to a square plus b square is 145 minus and a is what minus 72 so this will be 145 plus 144 so what i have now i will have a minus b whole square this is equals to 289 this means a minus b is nothing but a square root of 289 which is equals to plus minus 70. So now I know value of a plus b. So if you remember a plus b is equals to minus 1. You see here. So initially we calculated this value that is a plus b is equals to minus 1. And then now we have a minus b which is equals to in this case plus minus 70. So now I can solve these two equation and we can get the value of A and B. So basically we will have two cases. In the first case, if A plus B is equals to minus 1 and A minus B is equals to 17. And the second case we can have that is A plus B is equals to minus 1. But a minus b is equals to minus 17. So let us say we can solve separately. So let us first solve this side. So if I add these two things, this gets cancelled. So I will have 2a is equals to 16. This means a is equals to 8. If a is equals to 8, I can use any one of the expression to calculate b. So if I plug this value in this expression, a is equals to 8 plus b is equals to minus 1. This means b is equals to minus 9. Now using this expression if I add again. So this b and this b gets cancelled out. So we will have 2a is equals to minus 18. This means a is equals to minus 9. And then if I plug the value of a in any one of the equation. That is let us say if I plug in this expression. I will have minus 9 plus b is equals to minus 1. This means b is equals to 9 minus 1 which is equals to 8. So we have two sets of solution. The first set is a is equals to 8 and b is equals to minus 9. So this is one solution and the second set of solution is a is equals to minus 9 and b is equals to 8. Now finally you can verify whether these solutions satisfy the original equation or not. What was the original equation? So if you consider any one of the original equation that is a square minus b is equals to 73. So this was the original expression. 
Now let us plug the value or let us consider this square root or this value, this solution. So I will have a is equals to 8, 8 square and b is minus 9. So 8 square is 64 and this plus 9 which is equals to 73. So this means this satisfies the original equation. So this is in real a solution. Now let us check this root or this solution. So you will have a square minus b, a is minus 9, a square minus b, b is 8. So 9, 9 is 81 minus 8 and this is again 73. So this also satisfies the original equation. This means this is also a solution. So in this case you have two solution and you see how we have solved this. First we have consider a plus b, a minus b and to calculate these two expression we have to calculate a square plus b square and I also have to calculate a times b and if I plug all this value finally I can solve for a and b. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends and like to this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.